what it is guys this your boy King Mike D games here and yes like you read in the description this is a mega haul okay so I went to Cali games today I know you guys probably if you're not you didn't see it I upload like a little nine second video of a little preview of the stuff I was going to get today so um, I didn't have a cameraman but it's all good you guys seen I was at Cali games but um, yeah let, let's just jump right into it so I know it's ain't a game but uh, they gave me this duster right here for a dollar and you know as you guys know if you guys use this do not dust this do not use this straight into your system okay do like just don't do that if you're gonna use something to clean out your system use a vacuum with the hose on there so it can uh, suck out all the dust you don't want to push it in that's just never a good thing so basically I got this just to you know my shelves just to you know even though look how powerful it is it's pretty powerful but anyway, it's just so I can just dust my little shelves in certain hard to reach spots, you know, whatever. So, got that right there for a buck. And also, you guys know, um, if you guys didn't see it, uh, make sure you check it out. I had a video doing my Retron 5 review. It's what was called my bootleg Retron 5 review. And you guys know that my original Retron 5 controller broke. So now, when I went to game, uh, sorry, when I went to Cali Games, they had this uh, Retro Duo. And it's awesome. It works for the um, your Android, any Android device. It works for uh, iOS. It works for. Let me matter of fact. Let me get the paper. Hold on. Oh, okay. Let me read everything it goes for. It goes for a lot of stuff though. So let me see here. I hate this paper. It's so crisp. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see. So it goes for Android, Windows, Mac, and it even goes for the Nintendo Switch. It syncs with the Nintendo Switch. It doesn't have the Retron 5 on here, but I did see a YouTube video how to sync this to the Retron 5. So I'm very happy to have this. Very, very happy. It feels great. You know, it, it works for everything. So this is a good um, substitute for the Retron 5 controller. It doesn't feel cheap like the Retron 5 controller. So there's that right there. Let's jump into the game. You guys see I have a bunch of I got a bunch of deals today. So first one we have Tomb Raider, the last revelation for original PlayStation. I have never played this game. Um, I think I'm gonna start collecting all of the Tomb Raider games. I think that's one of the ones I'm gonna go for. So Tomb Raider, the last revelation. And of course the last Tomb Raider game, I loved it. I beat it. it the graphics were amazing. It just kept you very in tune. It basically reminded me of Uncharted, but just with Laura Croft. So pretty dope game right here. Next up, 007 Racing. Um, I don't even know. Yeah, that's all I can say. I, I don't even know what this is about. Uh, but it's a 007 game, and it's a racing game. Never played it. Never. I think I may have seen this before. And I think this came with three games. It came with three 007 games. Yeah, because this is the collector's edition. I think three. It came in a, a pack of three. But here's one of them right here. All right. Next up. I know I wasn't getting that many GameCube games, but here it is. I have Monster House right here for GameCube. I'm not gonna lie, my first job ever was a movie theater, and when I was working there, this movie came out. This is like in 2006. But I thought the cartoon, well, the movie was it was it was funny to me. I actually liked it, and it's something I can go back and watch again. It was pretty uh, entertaining. So very happy to have Monster House for the GameCube. All right, let's go to my other. So I got another one. I didn't get three, but. Here's another game for the GameCube, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Miss it Adventurous. Adventurous, sorry, The Miss Adventurous. Um, loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie coming up. I didn't know they even had a game, honestly. I don't know how good this is. So if you guys have played this game, let me know your thoughts. Uh, look, look at this. And you guys, don't, you guys don't understand. For the last hour, I got so much stuff. For the last hour, I've been scraping this off. Like the stickers, the, the price tags. The, their stickers are the worst. It's just, I didn't even scrape off the back. I, when I want to scan my game for my app, I just pull the sleeve out and just scan it. It's just, it's ridiculous. Literally an hour scrubbing off the price tags. It's ridiculous. Okay. Next up for original Xbox, we have Enclave. Is that Enclave? Enclave? I guess I'm going to go with Enclave. It's Enclave. Enclave. Enclave, whatever. So, yeah, I've never seen this game. Never played it. Nonetheless, I got it. It was a good deal. It was like two or three bucks. And like I said, they have to buy two, get one free. So, of course, 
when they you know when it comes to original xbox you guys know i'm stocking up on original xbox like seriously stocking up on it so there it goes that one next up another game i've never heard of blood wake uh, looks pretty interesting again never played it if you guys have played it let me know there we go next up for original xbox unreal 2 the awakening now i i thought at first this was uh part of the unreal tournament games but it's not i have every unreal tournament game but when i seen the unreal 2 i, I thought for some reason it might have to do with the unreal tournament but it doesn't so uh unreal tournament by the way awesome game i would love for them to make another one kind of reminds me of overwatch but not so much cartoony i guess you can say but uh yeah this has nothing to do with the unreal tournaments but it kind of looks like it does but it doesn't so unreal to the awakening next up we have one of my favorite franchises of all time ultra bust a move um i have another bust a move game it's the one with the ps2 cover one with the baby on there I have that one, and uh, I just love bust -a move games. I love puzzle games like this. I like Columns, uh, of course, Tetris. You know, this is a fun, cool games to unwind. I love games like this, so very happy to have this in my collection. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I also have um, a bust -a move game for the Nintendo Wii. So, yeah, very happy to have this game right here. And I'm going to start the collecting also as well on the bust -a move games. There we go. Next up. Look, it sticks. You guys see that? It's 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 awful. The stickers. I have to figure out a better way to get these cleaned. Okay, so Wakeboarding Unleashed featuring Sean Murray. Never heard of this game. The graphics look cool, but we all know it doesn't look like this. It doesn't. But um, it kind of actually it looks actually pretty good. When did this come out? What year did this come out? It came out in 2003. Yeah, interesting. It looks pretty good, but Wakeboarding Unleashed featuring Sean Murray. Never played it. If you guys have played it, let me know what you think. Next up for the PS2 now, moving along, is Street Hoops. I thought I had Street Hoops, but I didn't. Um, another cool game. I remember playing this years ago. Uh, but, you know, you guys know, NBA Street was my game. So, it didn't. this game didn't have a long-lasting effect on me. It was like 3 bucks, so I, I decided to pick it up. So, can't go wrong with a $3 game. Next up, we have Future Tactics, The Uprising. Uh, never seen it. Never heard of it. Uh, again, it was just a great deal, so I picked it up. Like I said before, you guys know I, I'm trying to get games that I, I haven't heard of. Of course, the popular ones I go for, but I like the obscure ones, the ones that you really don't hear too much about. I think those be the coolest ones to me sometimes. So there goes that one. Next up, we have The Mark of Cree. Never heard of it, never played it. Um, yeah, if you guys have, let me know. I know it sucks you guys probably think, oh, you keep saying that. Well, I haven't. I haven't played every PS2 game. Like I said, I think PlayStation 2 has the biggest game collection uh, ever. Like, it's the biggest. Uh, they have the most games, I believe. Like I said, over, what, 1,000? Way over 1,000 games. So, another one. So, there's going to be more obscure games for it. But here it is, nonetheless. Next up, we have, look at this, sticking. Damn it, it makes no sense crazy and somebody's trying to text me at the same time anyways and a, another text okay you guys can't see that but i can okay so primal here we go i've heard of primal but i've i've never played it i don't know if it has anything to do with the other connection of the other primal game but uh nonetheless here it is wonder how it is if you guys have played this let me know look at that this is awful okay there it is next up we have aragon I have this for PS2. I didn't have it for 360, so I decided to get it. Um, I guess I'm stocking up on original Xbox and 360 games because they're making them backwards compatible. You know what I'm saying? So, again, it's pretty cool. I think they just made Ultra Street Fighter uh, 4 backwards compatible the other day. So, like I said, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Happy to have this game because I have it for the PS2. I try to get all the games for all the systems. That The same game sometimes I do. Sometimes the ports are different from other systems. A lot of people don't realize that either. So, definitely happy to have that. Next up, Dynasty Warriors 7. I have played uh, the other Dynasty Warriors before. Uh, they were pretty cool. Took a while for me to get into it, but I've never played Dynasty Warriors 7. Never, never, never. So, I'm happy to have this. Will I give it a try? Who knows? You guys, I have I have so much, so many games. 
I don't play them all. It's not possible. That's just, it's just too much. I'm not going to lie. So, Dynasty Warrior 7. Next up, another game, Chaotic Shadow Warriors. Never played it, never heard of it. Um, it looks like, I don't even know what it even looks like to me. I don't even know what it would even be, honestly. But nonetheless, here it is. Now, another PS2 game that I see my boy got, um, my boy Woodburyan Gamer. Um, I seen him get this game and it looked pretty awesome. Like you said, the guy's face just looks really hardcore. It looks really brutal. Um, it looks, the graphics look pretty cool, but I ain't gonna lie. The best PS2 shooting game, arguably, we can have a discussion about this. I think has to be black. The game black. It was one of the later games that came out for Xbox and PS2 and it just looked amazing. It, it was, the graphics were amazing. I'm not sure if it still holds up. I haven't played it in a while. I did have it for backwards compatible for the 360, but it disappeared. And you guys know how I feel about that. We had that discussion already about games you buy and they just disappear. But nonetheless, Cell Shock Nom 67. Next up, you guys probably seen it in another video, Persona 4. This includes the bonus disc. It has the soundtrack. Now, you guys know I have the Persona 4. As a matter of fact, let me pull them out now. Okay, here's the Persona 4 Arena right here for 360. And there's the Persona 4, of course, for PS2. And you guys know I have the Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. And this is the one that has everybody unlocked, I heard. Well, it has everybody in here. Basically, like the Ultimate Edition, it has like Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom. So it's like complete, basically. So I'm, I'm happy to have these three right here, man. And I got these all... In a quick span of time. I really do. I wonder do they have it for original Xbox. If they do, you know I'm going to go for it. For sure. So, happy to have these. Very happy. And I got them with, very quick. Like I said, within like a week span. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys see my shelf foot filling up. Definitely filling up. So, Persona 4. There it is. Brand spanking new. Sealed. Probably not going to open it. There it is. Next up, I got Corvette. Um, I think I might have played this game years ago. Don't remember it, but I, it looks familiar. I think I have played this game. Um, yeah, so nonetheless, Corvette. I don't really know what to say about this one. Corvette. It's a Corvette. That's what it is. Last one we got here is Bionic Commando. Um, I played the original Bionic Commando for Nintendo years ago. Um, I think I used... I think you know what I use Bionic Commando in. Um, he was in. He's in the new uh, Marvel vs. Capcom game. I played the demo, and he is actually in the game. So very cool, very cool to have this Bionic Commando right here. I would love to get the game again for uh, NES. That would be very cool. So um, Bionic Commando, and here it is, guys. Here's my ultimate pickup video right here. A lot of good games. Definitely needed that controller. Very happy to have it because, like I said, I needed a replacement for my um, Retron 5 controller. Happy to have the little duster thing right there. So there it is, guys. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Sorry I kept you guys for 13 minutes, I see. But, hey, have to do what I have to do. And this puts me at 920 games. Yes. We're almost there. Where I say we because you guys have been joining me on this journey so i appreciate you guys all the new followers i appreciate the people who give their comments everything uh i really do appreciate you guys so we're almost there we got like what 80 more yeah yeah 80 more games left so you guys know i'm gonna hit that by the end of the year so peace out guys enjoy your weekends with your family have a good one